So we've got an awesome video for you about how to make your backswing dynamic. And the title of this video is Toss the Club Away and Your Takeaway for a Dynamic Backswing. Yes, that's it. Okay. So you've got three clubs in your hand. Yeah, I did this purposely because, you know, let's be honest, that club is only a pound. Yeah, and work. do we really feel that? Uh, honestly, it's so light in a lot of our hands, especially, you know, we have strong hands and arms and, and, and we're bigger people. We tend to be able to muscle this thing generally, way, way too much. I would say generally for most men, that's for sure. They that's can, for sure. They can muscle this thing. This one, this one little club, it can, it's, you know, it's you not... You can toss it around like a rag doll pretty good. It's not much. So a lot of times... When I'm doing this, I like to, uh, when I give lessons, I have a four pound medicine ball in my hand and I were going to move it. I am not going to just turn and pull it with my arms. I'm going to shift pressure to one side, let it go this way, shift pressure first, let it go this way, pressure, 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 and pressure. And I like for students to feel the dynamic nature in it because if we're not dynamic in our takeaway, it's harder for us to use our legs as brakes to recenter ourselves the opposite direction as that weight and speed is moving this direction. Because, you know, if we have a slow backswing and if I'm going slow, I have no impetus to go that way any dynamically. Yeah, so you so wind I'm, up seeing a lot of this. Yeah, and then you're drifting and by that time it's way too late. So a lot of times I find that if I add a little bit of extra weight, whether two clubs or three clubs or whatever the case is, a person becomes way more dynamic to balance themselves and break themselves to immediately go back this way much earlier so they can stretch themselves out and unwind themselves with much more dynamics. Well, shall we demonstrate? Let's demonstrate. I like students to have a little bit of a trigger so there's a little bit more dynamics. So as soon as they trigger to the right, they're going to feel And that immediately made me break and want to go this direction earlier. So a slow backswing doesn't necessarily mean you're going to have a fast downswing. And certainly as an athlete, you're not going to move as fast the opposite direction if you're slow in your takeaway. Because yeah. I can't imagine trying to throw a 60-yard pass with the arm going slowly. It's just simply not going to happen. You're going to have to have a lot of force and speed going this direction to stretch yourself out to throw a long bomb. Same thing in your golf swing. It's what we do as humans to create, because speed is created by what? The two features primarily is the stretch and transition and how hard you can push away from the direction of rotation. Yeah. And you can't do that if you're going back slow, generally speaking. Go. It really doesn't happen. Yeah. It really doesn't happen. Dynamic motion is good motion. Yes. And the earlier it starts the better you'll have it at the end. Yeah, that's one of the things I like to talk about is transition can happen really early if we're doing things correctly. So if we dynamically load, I'm transitioning from about here. Mm -hmm. That's I'm right. starting to go the other way. So then my transition can be smooth. Right. Where if you go slow, 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 now try to go, now your transition has to be, it has to get over here quick. And we're not saying it doesn't happen necessarily. Like, okay, you may be chipping a shot, or trying not to necessarily smash it, uh -huh. and you're gonna be very temperate. That's reasonable. And we certainly know there are guys on tour that have a very slow one. Yeah. But those are not the norm. They're more outliers. They are phenomenal players. You could give them hickory shafts and they would still be amazing, right? But I mean, that's not the norm per se. And it certainly isn't the norm in regards to how you do other athletic motions. Yeah, generally, other athletic motions are explosive and dynamic. Exactly. And it's explosive and dynamic at the first, yep. and the rest of it is just getting out of the way of that club. Yep. Or the arm, or the... The arm, or the ball, or the, the baseball bat, swinging. or whatever you're swinging. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. So let's be dynamic in our takeaway. Cool. So Milo, so you're going to talk to us about, you're going to use three clubs in this particular example. And how do you think that three clubs and or a more dynamic and explosive takeaway can affect you as far as your speed goes? It's going to require more energy from my actual body mass to get this three clubs moving. Yeah. So if i efficient in using my mass and winding up, I'll be faster. Most definitely. That motion right there looks very much like what I see in a long driver. Exactly. And some of the fastest guys on tour. Yeah. 
There's, there's a few guys that break the rule on tour, but they're not quite as fast as what we would see from the long drive guys. No, usually when you see guys that are, are mashers, they have a very quick takeaway. Yeah. There's a lot, a lot of, of energy in their initial burst right here to get this thing going. And that speed is not necessarily with their extremities. No, it's, it's with the inner part here goes out to the club head and you're just reacting to where that thing is moving in space. Yeah, to get that thing moving, I had to actually create a little bit of linear motion and then to convert it by breaking with this trail side exactly. and pulling with all the stuff that stretches this direction. There you go. Oh, to get that yep. moving. Yep, perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate one where I dynamically wind myself up and send one down range here. Great swing. So that one was pretty good. Yep. So hopefully you guys learned something. We really want to make sure we are using our bodies dynamically to mm -hmm. get the engine started. That way our the rest of our body has to react. 100%. Put the brakes on correctly and it makes the whole rest of the swing so much easier to perform. 100%. Absolutely, completely agree. Let's energize that thing early, and let's let's start swinging with a lot of purpose and energy early, so you can just rip it. And awesome. Have fun. Well, hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button. We'd love to have you as members of MyLinesGolf.com as well. So come visit us there.